We have a Samba server and a basic understanding of how it works. Now we need to implement at least some measure of security. So we are going to add an SMB user and give him access and a password. First, we remove the right permissions of other from the www folder. So this is going to be... Let's find the chmod minus www. Oh, yeah, we need to cd again ls al and we can see that we are back to normal. Test our changes, we are going to make our share inaccessible to guests. So to do that, we are going to use nano. So we nano etsy samba smb.conf and now we edit. We want to remove the guest OK line. Press Ctrl and O to write the changes, Ctrl and exit. Now that we have changed the config file, we need to restart Samba so that the configuration changes take effect. Enter service smb the start. Now we want to test it, so we go to network vsus and this is going to take some time so we're going to wait a bit and here it is, web dev try and open it Okay, so we have the login prompt. We have link, which is my username on my host system. That's why it's pre-written here. We have a domain, although this really doesn't matter. We're not going to touch it. My username on the Visu system is also link. So I'm Oh, you should enter whatever your username on the virtual host is on the guest OS and try your password and if everything is okay it shouldn't allow us to enter and we are denied it doesn't accept our password with this username so let's add a user to Samba Going to clear the screen. Okay. Now, Samba still doesn't have a link user, even if the system has it, or whatever your username is. So we need to actually add a Samba user. We do that by using the SMB pass wd command. Help. We can see that adding a user is minus a. So add user would be minus a and we write the name of the user I'm writing the username link link as a user needs to exist on the system let's try developer task for password we give it the password another password failed to add entry, entry for user developer but if we try link which is an existent local user on the system we write a password. I suggest your Samba password is different from your local password that you use to SSH into the server. It's just a security measure. Added user link. So now we can try link with our new password. Enter and we wait. And we wait and now we are in we can try to create a folder but denied permission denied yada 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 and this is because 
of the right permissions. We are still other on the system, so even if we are a user of the system, we still don't have access due to the simple permissions. Clear LSAL Link users just isn't part of the root group. Uh, since this isn't a deployment system, this isn't a real server, it's just a development setup, we can get away with being a bit lax about security. And what I mean by this is that we're going to give the www folder to the users group. So we chown minus r, which is recursive, is going to change the ownership of www and everything inside it. And we are going to give it to, let's see, let's try root users. And we want to do that on www. ls al. Okay. And now we want to chmod group plus right and we want this to be recursive also the www folder ls al now we can see that the users group has write permission in www cd www ls al and we can see that everybody everything else inside also has write permissions for the users group so let's make a test we create a folder which we'll call scripts. We enter it and we create an empty file and we call it script.js. Can open it. We can probably edit it question is whose is it and what permissions does it have and here we see that once we start creating stuff on the share it's going to be owned by link and it's going to be users because we are logged in to Samba as link if we cd into scripts lsal the script file itself is also owned by link users. CD LSAL CD HT docs LSAL index on the other hand is still by root and users but we're going to end up deleting index.php or maybe we will just copy it I gotta fix this stuff uh, and paste it I'm going to delete this one delete and rename this one LSAL again and it's link users so that's basically our Samba setup for web developers goodbye if you like this video and you're not too busy why not rate share or subscribe if you don't like it constructive criticism is always welcome in the comment section